Thank you. Calgary McKay knows Hill. Thank you, Madam Chair. I just wanted to make a, a point. I, I'm not sure if there's a, maybe a gap in understanding, um, and I am moving this on behalf of another member, so uh, I don't have the benefit of the context that the amendment was developed in, but something that the minister said, he was talking about structured data and real-time data not being part of interactive digital media, and, and all of the data that's presented, however data is presented to a user, there is data being fed behind it that facilitates that interaction between the user and whatever application there is. So um, the example that I used in the, in the comments was smart boards. And that is definitely an interactive um, application of data. So I really am not understanding what the concern is in particular. I heard that it would open things up, but it seems that things are quite closed off by the limitations right now. So I just wonder if the minister would be able to offer some clarification. Honorable Minister. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, so my point was that uh, text, sound, and images are the way that an individual interacts with the media. Structured data, real-time data, is not a mode of interaction. Uh, and so, therefore, um, therefore, we feel, I feel, that it doesn't uh, necessarily augment uh, this program, but what it does do is open up its scope uh, to businesses that may use it for non-interactive uh, digital media purposes, which really is, is the crux of this program. And so hopefully that helps clarify. Any other members wishing to speak to Amendment A1? Seeing none, you're ready for the question. All those in favor of Amendment A1 to Bill 2, say aye. aye. Any opposed, say no. no. That amendment is defeated. And we are back on the bill. Are there any further questions, comments, or amendments with respect to this bill? Calgary McKay knows help. Thank you, Madam Chair. I have another amendment uh, that I would like to move. This is a simple amendment that enables smaller businesses starting out in digital media to benefit from this bill at the time when they would benefit most from the support in reducing the threshold from $50,000 in wages to $25,000 in wages. So on behalf of um, the MLA for Calgary Southeast, sorry? Oh. Uh, moving that Bill 2, Growth and Diversification Act, be amended in Schedule 1, the Interactive Digital Media Tax Credit Act, in Section 41C2, by striking out $50,000 and substituting So not every business or Albertan who works in interactive digital media starts out in that industry as their main business or full-time occupation. The skills required to succeed in digital media overlap with other sectors, many other sectors, such as graphic design, video production, animation, programming, engineering, artificial intelligence, health informatics, data visualization, and other vocations that are enabled for anyone who can afford a laptop. Consequently, there is a much larger pool of talent who contribute to interactive digital media industry than who work full time. Recognizing the actual structure of Alberta's digital media workforce is key to the success of the bill. Apps are routinely designed by students who aren't necessarily working full time in interactive digital media, but who wish to enter the interactive digital media industry. Companies and organizations with existing data that could benefit more Albertans might not want to become interactive digital media companies, but may still invest in a part-time or contract role to put their data and information online in an interactive way. Individuals employed at organizations might want to explore careers in interactive digital media during their off hours. And what better way to support more Albertans to experiment in interactive digital media than by offering them a boost to get in. 
We can do better for Albertans by reducing the threshold from $50,000 to $25,000 to open the interactive digital media door to more Albertans. I urge all members of the House to support this amendment to improve the lives of Albertans pursuing business in interactive digital media.